In a report from the fire marshal, new details have emerged about the tragic fire that claimed the lives of the Boyd family in St. George on April 11th. Guardians of the Children is an international organization that first started in Texas 20 years ago. It came to Canada in 2014 and currently the Fredericton chapter is the only one east of Montreal. Sunshine says many members of the group are survivors of abuse themselves and they hope to help children in ways they wish someone had been able to help them. Gallant says he may not agree with everything that Trump has said regarding minorities and women, but says he'll do everything possible to communicate the importance of trade between the two countries and the province. Residents I spoke with in this part of the village say water wasn't even touching this property on Wednesday. Now the water's come up over the road surrounding this home, and you can see just how fast the water's rising. As you can see behind me, the city's flood art installation is much more covered in water than it was on Thursday. It just goes to show how fast water levels have been rising here in Fredericton. This remains the scene in some of the hardest hit areas of Fredericton, more than a week after water levels reached higher than flood stage. Larry Gullison owns a restoration company and took us through the north side of the city in his tractor. He says people started calling in to report damage last week, but there's not much that can be done yet. All we can do at this point in time is just get ready and get organized and uh, you can't repair a place till the water's out of it, and you can't pump the water if, if the water hasn't gone down yet. So, yeah, it's just kind of an organizational wait and see. On the journey down the road, we ran into people who say the last week has been tough. It's certainly more stressful. Like, I'm a beekeeper as well, and I've sort of fought the river for several days and raised my hives four times, and I've won. But I'm very lucky I've won because I've saved my bees, but a lot of people down the road have lost tremendous amounts. Also running into business owners like John Toth of Apple Towing. He says his own home isn't too bad, but it's not just homes that will need to be fixed up and cleaned. Uh, there's a lot of debris all over the roads. The downtown core is, is needs a big cleanup. That cleanup will have to wait too. Parking lots remain covered in water and there's a significant amount of debris that will have to be removed before roads can reopen. Just because the waters recede does not mean we can open the streets right away. Please be patient as we work to make sure they are once again safe for vehicular traffic. Talon says the city's working on a flood recovery plan, but says water levels in Fredericton will remain above 8 meters until Thursday, and then slowly things will start to return to normal. In the meantime, though, they're asking people to stay safe and be patient. Adrian South, Global News, Fredericton. As you can see behind me, there's still quite a bit of debris on the road that's being cleaned up. This is just one of several piles that still remains on the highway. Paul, Andrea, as you can see behind me, the water levels here in Fredericton still remain quite high. They're sitting at about 8 meters right now, which is where they've been the last few days, but it's also where they're expected to remain over the coming days. And while this may look bad, it's not actually the worst that we're seeing across the province. Water levels along the St. John River have been steadily rising throughout the day in Fredericton. I'm standing by the city's flood art installation where you can actually see how high water levels got in previous years. Talon says there could be a risk of localized flooding, but says he's not concerned about the St. John River. That's something EMO officials addressed today, saying it's mainly the small tributaries that could be affected by the heavy rainfall, but they say anyone who has experienced flooding in the past should take all the necessary precautions heading into the weekend. They also say it's important to be cautious and extremely vigilant along all water courses. Adrian South Global News, Fredericton. Downtown Fredericton, the ice is already starting to break up, but officials are warning people across the province to be 72 hours ready and have an evacuation plan over the coming weeks. They're also warning people to stay away from waterways and report any rising water levels or ice jams. Paul Duke says they've also staged additional contractor crews in certain areas of the province where the weather is expected to hit harder. She says anyone who does lose power can call or use their smartphone to report an outage. And while the new holiday means time off work for many, in a recent news release, New Brunswick Tourism Minister John Ames says the creation of a new paid public holiday will help create opportunities in the hospitality industry and other sectors. Swimmers were supposed to take off at 5 a.m., but due to weather, things didn't get going until about 7. And instead of swimming across the strait, swells were too large, so swimmers are now going across the coast down to Murray Beach Provincial Park. It's the sixth heat advisor for Fredericton so far this summer and staff from the Department of Health say it's important to drink lots of water, find shade and find ways to keep cool.
Walter the goat is happy to be home. Reunited with his friends and back eating hay at the Country Pumpkin Farm in Majorville after he was taken over the weekend. Walter's owner, Mindy Cardinal, noticed he was missing on Saturday. We tried to look around to see where he might be and then after a while, we said, oh, he really is gone. After days of no sign of Walter, Cardinal says she and her family decided to take to social media. And that garnered lots of attention, getting close to 90,000 views. And after just hours of the post going up. We heard a little commotion last night and all the critters were together and yeah, so we, we kind of knew when he came home. Walter was returned home unharmed. We were happy. <laughs> His friends were happy. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to have him back, for sure. Part of the family, part of the firm. Everybody will be happy that he's back. Cardinal and staff credit the community and social media for his safe return. I'm very happy that Walter's back. We were all very sad that he was missing, and uh, we're, we, need, we needed everybody to get together and find him, and they did. Walter is still taking it all in. Walter, do you make any noises? Are you happy to be home? Are you just speechless? And while it's been a bit of a traumatic few days for Walter, there's an even happier ending. He'll get to ride in his first ever Santa Claus parade this weekend with his brother. Now Walter's back to go in the parade <laughs> with Clifford. <laughs> but whether he'll be decked out in festive attire? Well, he's going to be on the float, so we'll see if he enjoys wearing anything Christmassy. He's a goat. <laughs> he might eat it instead. I'm not sure. Is that exciting, though? I guess to see him go to see him go in his first parade. Well, sure. I mean, he's a goat. Come on. <laughs> he's a happy goat. He's home. A happy ending for Walter the goat, just in time for the holidays. Adrian South, Global News, Majorville. Marr says he's only seen a 3% decline in his colonies and he attributes his success to natural pollination. NB Liquor spokesperson Mark Barber says New Brunswick brewers have never been allowed to sell beer from other provinces. And as far as the beer accord, he says that came into play before microbreweries did and says therefore it doesn't apply. Well, many of the women here say they didn't know Erin Robertson personally. Many of them showed up to the ride at her funeral. They say it's so important to remember members of their community who lost their lives on the road, and it serves as a constant reminder for bikers and for drivers that you can never be too careful. Well, it doesn't look like there's much damage to the exterior of the house. Neighbors say there was a significant amount of smoke at the time. Autopsies have been done on all four members of the family, but those details have not been released, but results are expected in the coming months. Adrian South Global News, Fredericton.